Today I'm cooking my chicken nog, which basically means chicken cobra. It's just a really simple, easy, delicious chicken curry. So, I've got a really nice kind of medium-large brown onion here. Now the finer you chop your onions, it may take an extra couple of minutes, but they melt into your curry, so you have a really smooth dish with that kind of big pieces of onions. So we've got our onion, we're going to heat up our pan, we're going to put in about three tablespoons of oil. Now, I think everyone knows what ghee is now, but it's basically clarified butter, so it's pure butter that's been clarified to get rid of the milky solids, so a couple of tablespoons of that. If you don't have ghee at home, use butter, it's absolutely fine. Let's get that cranking up. You always add your whole spices first when you make any kind of Indian food. So I have mustard seeds. These are brown mustard seeds. That's nice and hot. In go my mustard seeds, a good teaspoon's worth. They will tell you when they're cooked because they will start popping and they'll be dancing in the pan. So I'm gonna wait for them to just start dying down in that noise and add my onions. I'm going to turn the heat down to a moderate and let them sort of cook away while I continue with the next step. Okay, step two, make your paste. We need about three medium tomatoes. I have these beautiful, huge tomatoes, so I'll use a bit less than three. Don't go out of your way to spend a lot of money on the tomatoes. You just need good, normal tomatoes. So one of those, two, and another half. Okay, garlic. One, two, three, four. Six, maybe a bit more. Seven. Lots of garlic, but it's all going to cook out and be really lovely and gentle and smooth. In go my garlic cloves and a bit of ginger, about that much, peeled. In that goes. Now just to whiz that whole thing together. Now into this we add the Indian bit. So. We have our spices. We have some turmeric, so maybe half a teaspoon of turmeric. Chili powder, add about half a teaspoon, but this is a really mild chili powder that's got just amazing color. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of coriander powder. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon and a bit of garam masala, some salt, and cumin powder. So another teaspoon of that. So that's all my spices and my yogurt. So I'm gonna add about three tablespoons. And it's not the case that if you like a mild curry, add more yogurt. It's the case of add fewer spices. Now, I just like to mix this around quite gently um, to incorporate everything. Here's my chicken. So, first you'll see that they're all skinned. And second of all, they're cut into quite small sized pieces. In goes my raw masala. Masala just means a mixture of spices and flavors. You can do this the night before. You can leave it in the fridge overnight, bring it to room temperature. It will just marinate the chicken. It'll be really beautiful. Chicken will be really lovely and tender. So I've got some new potatoes here. And they're quite big new potatoes. I'll cut them into nice chunks. The onions are really beautiful and caramelized and you really need that depth of flavor for the curry. In goes the chicken. And the potatoes go in with the chicken. At the same time, give it all a stir. So everything's in there now, and you just need this to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. You only need to pay a lot of attention to it when it's all really reduced to make sure it doesn't burn. We've come to the stage where now the oil has been released by the masala. So at this stage, because it's a gravied curry, in India anything with a curry is a gravy, we're gonna add some water. So you've poured your water and you bring it to the boil, and then you turn it completely down, cover it, and let the chicken just simmer really gently in the gravy. So, a little bit of fresh coriander. This actually adds to the flavor. It's not just for a garnish. Do add the stalks. The stalks have a lovely flavor. So, let's have a look. You can see there's a tiny film of oil on the surface, which just means it's all beautifully cooked. And the chicken is cooked and the potatoes are done. So in with our coriander. And there we are. So I'm gonna serve that with my basmati rice and we have our meal. So I've got my fabulous king of curries and my fabulous king of beers. I'm all set.